has become important to note that achieving the goals and targets will require integration into national development plans, policies, the budget and increasing institutional capacity across sectors and levels of governance. Above all, the SDGs will require effective coordination within and between multi-layers of governance, that is national, sub-national and local levels, as well as strengthening partnerships across multi-stakeholders, including the private sector, civil society, the academia, parliament and local authorities. And it needs to do more and keep pushing for the heights. It was against this backdrop that the side event recently hosted by the Nigerian government at the fringe of the UN General Assembly was most instructive. Working horizontally and vertically with SDG, some national <coughs> national development plan and program. Horizontally, you know, working with federal ministries, departments, and even known as MDA, administering the SDG into the policy and program. And sounding to the annual federal government budget, budget mechanism. For example, the federal government has integrated the three dimensions of SDGs known as economic, social, and environmental into the country economy record phase and both plan program GPs. That was adopted by Nigeria government between 2017 to 2020. Select evidence we are working with the National Bureau of Statistics. To align the national statistical system with the required indicators of SDGs for report monitoring and reporting. Practically, we are engaging the supporting state and local governments, the second and third tier of government, to integrate the relevant SDG into their policies and development plans as of national level. As Princess Adichoke Orilupe Adichoke, the senior special assistant to the president on SDGs noted, Nigeria has since the adoption of the SDGs been charting a pathway for the implementation of the goals. All told have determined the pathway to localizing the global agenda. <coughs> this agenda, the reason why all of us are here, the head of government of member states are here to review. <coughs> to share knowledge, to exchange ideas, to review the global agenda, how far we have gone, what is needed to be done, and to also celebrate the year. And definitely the same thing is very well done. And we are aware that the concept of sustainable development was well articulated and well professionalized and put to land the of 1987, commonly known as the common future. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development over SDGs, adopted in September 2015, that has brought this concept to the heart of development, development policy and practice. The Nigeria government, through our office and demonstrated commitment to the implementation of the 2030 Agenda and the SDGs, we also have a broad mandate to provide everything that and guidance in the implementation of SDGs in Nigeria. As a, as a country, we have since recognized that the SDG cannot be achieved through a standalone program and policies. We must be carefully in between international and sub national development plans and policies. Hence, we are working horizontally and vertically to integrate SDGs into the Sub national <coughs> national development plan and program. Horizontally, you know, working with federal ministries, departments, and even known as MDA. Indeed, the best practices so far developed by the Nigerian government in the quest for the attainment of the goals have caught the attention of the United Nations. Speaking at the event, Edward Cowan. The UN Resident Coordinator and Humanitarian Coordinator opined that Nigeria is well on track. What is Nigeria doing? Where is Nigeria? 
what can be called success factors in the process of localizing yes. One, an impressive MDG and your report. This provided the framework to re examine what was achieved um, within the medical development group and also in terms of productivity in the SDG chart and spend. That was followed by an SDG transition strategy. This strategy more or less gave a pathway on areas the government of Nigeria should engage as it starts implementing the strategy. We uh, worked with the Office of the Senior Special Assistance for the President and Nigeria did produce the first voluntary national review last year, which was quite an impressive effort in demonstrating some of the work that is done by the government and some of the investments <coughs> that are already done and some of the coordination mechanisms that have been put in place by the government to guide the implementation of the SDGs. There's also work that is ongoing on the indicator data mapping and supply framework that are also critical to guide the accountability aspect of the ongoing effort. This is closely linked to the establishment of SDGs, the indicator baseline reports that are already finalized. And the most interesting aspect is this multi layered, multi clustered. Uh, coordination mechanisms that have been put in place to actually guide the localization efforts. Besides the appointment of the senior special assistant to the president of SDG, who has uh, a very difficult job of ensuring that the uh, results are coordination of these efforts, a lot of progress has made, as has been made. <coughs> One is notably the SDG private sector advisory group that has, that, that has been put in place in Nigeria. We also have the establishment of the donor uh, of the donor partners group, all focusing on the SDGs, and we also have the SDG risk assessment and costing exercise that is ongoing, that will be very critical, and we inform the budgeting process of the government moving forward. And linked to it is an important work that is ongoing on integrated SDG model for commercialization and scenario analysis including capacity development for youth, which will create a path for technical and policy users to guide the implementation of the SDGs. Unlike the initial skepticism that characterized the Millennium Development Goals era, the implementation of the SDGs has witnessed a flurry of early starts from across Africa. There is a huge appetite for the SDGs from different levels of state and non-state actors. SDGs are becoming the centerpiece of national development plan and an integral aspect of national budget. For instance, the Nigerian Economic Recovery and Growth Plan ERGP in its three-pronged objective seeks to achieve inclusive growth, invest in people and build a diversified and competitive economy. Through this instrument, Nigeria intends to expand financial commitments to SDGs related sectors including agriculture and food security, social investments, and reducing regional inequalities. One great thing that has been done in Nigeria is the integration of the private sector deliberately through a strategy in the achievement of the SDGs. And I think that engagement you know, has been very significant in terms of positioning Nigeria to be able to achieve that. One of the things that has been lacking, and which is also the reason why I think Nigeria's data more often than not, does not seem to reflect the reality is that those data are basically based on the efforts of the government. And there hasn't been any strategy or framework to ensure that the contributions of the private sector across the various sectors of society can be articulated, aggregated, and integrated into the data that forms the metrics, you know, that then generates the indices of human development in Nigeria. And so I think that that is something that needs to be commended. And I think that you know, the SDG office in Nigeria has worked very hard in bringing the private sector on board. We've got the private sector advisory group, which is more like the platform where the private sector is working, you know, tries to pull everyone together to ensure that we have you know, a collaborative approach, working with one another within the business to business and also working you know, as a business to government to 
ensure that those things are done. And so the challenge is to ensure that you know, multinationals, you know, wherever they are, can also recognize the role that they have to play, not just in terms of what they can do as individual organizations, but coming together as businesses and also coming together to hold hands with government to ensure that those things are not only developed but also at the level. The side event was convened with the objective of sharing lessons learned in integrating the SDGs into national development strategies, vision, and framework, sharing best practices and experiences in local resource mobilization and innovative financing to implement the SDGs and climate change program, as well as explore the roles of sub-national governments and local authorities in implementation of the SDGs. The side event was also aimed at exploring the impact of multi-stakeholder engagement in national implementation efforts of the SDGs. Against this backdrop, other participants at the event also gave their perspectives on the approaches to mainstreaming the agenda into the local plans. No single actor will be able to solve humanity's greatest challenges alone. All stakeholders, therefore, can add unique value to this effort. National and local governments can integrate the 2030 Agenda into context-specific development plans. As underscored by the 46 voluntary national reviews presented at this year's high-level political forum, there is significant momentum for this at the national level. Local authorities are also playing an active role in implementing, reporting, and measuring progress on the SDGs. Pathways in uh, localizing the global agenda. Uh, the first one has to do with the integration of all the policy actions and the federalist nature of the country. Uh, Nigeria has 36 states, uh, and the quality of the bureaucrats, the quality of human capital in those states are different. And, and as such, why some states can stand on their own, uh, it is possible and it is actually necessary for us to find ways of supporting some other states. So one of the ways in which we can achieve the sustainable goal is actually making sure that those states that are that don't have enough capacity we build their capacity. Uh, I have a couple of remarks about uh, regarding the uh, intelligence task. I think the uh, localization of sustainable development goals uh, requires the integration, the integrative development in all uh, social aspects. Uh, the, integrity, uh, the integration between government and um, NGOs and other grassroots organizations that actually carry the movement forward, and also the integration or the cooperation of governors and a businessman and a philanthropist and yes, students <laughs> together to uh, make the society and to create the a societal awareness and uh, to promote the sustainable development goals uh, that. Um, and to gain its popularity. And also, I do have a remark on uh, the case of Nigeria. If Nigeria uh, can achieve that, that would be a precedent for other African countries and for uh, other developing countries to follow. So if anyone here can have an idea for that, that would be really awesome. Thank you. Thank you. For us to succeed in the end, we need to, we well, agree that we need private sector to work with the sector. But to get, the private, to get this partnership going, I think that there are three uh, ways that we can do that. We can either force people to do it, we can incentivize them and actually give them, I don't know, maybe like financial returns, or we can get them to act in their normal course of doing business. Now, in the private sector advisory group, which we belong to, that's something that we try to encourage. To say, look, um, achieving the SDGs is good for business. And I'm a bit curious. So, I think for Nigeria, we need to identify how we can track accountability for the private sector and a bit for the government. I'm not sure it's clear how we can track accountability for the academia and civil society. So, I'm willing to hear more if we can if the international community can shed more light into how we can actually um, track what this category of key stakeholders are also doing and how we can do better.
The event was attended by high-level representatives of national delegations to the General Assembly, representatives of UN agencies, private sector, civil society, intergovernmental organizations, the academia, and parliamentarians. An expected outcome of the side event with recommendation on effective strategies for national implementation on localizing a global agenda. It is also expected that best practices shared could inform national integration and implementation efforts across Africa, and the feedback generated will be useful in improving the rollout of the SDGs globally. Thank you.